guys, I hope you're all well and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to show you how to get that dewy, gorgeous base to last all day and all night, especially if you have oily skin and this actually works for any skin type as well. And you know what, I am very proud of myself because I feel like it has taken me a while to actually master this. Like all the oily skin girls out there know how hard it is to keep that base on all day without it slipping and sliding everywhere and just looking really, really, really oily by the end of the day. The first step is skin prep. And I'm gonna say this is probably the most important thing to do before doing your makeup. If you don't prep your skin before putting your makeup on, it probably won't last all day and it won't go on as smooth as it can and also it might end up going a little bit patchy and cakey and we do not want that. I've just washed my face and now I'm going to go in and use a liquid exfoliant. My favourite one is this Paula's Choice one. I bought the big bottle. This cost me £50 but I know it's worth it. There's like three sizes of them. You can get like a small mini travel size one which is £10 and that literally lasts like ages like I think I got that one and it lasted like way over two months and then they do like a medium size which was 30 pounds and this one is 50 pounds I bought this one because I use this every single day and I absolutely love it I'm just going to put some onto a cotton pad and just put it all over the skin so if you use this you need to use SPF anyway but with this definitely you need to use an SPF like please make sure you put it on because we do not want burnt skin, then wrinkles and sun damage. So like I said before, this is just getting rid of any dead skin cells on the skin so we literally have the smoothest foundation makeup application possible. So next step is moisturiser. This is an Elemis one, honestly. This is a very high-end moisturiser. You do not need to use a high-end one. As long as whatever suits your skin, just make sure you moisturise it. So I'm going to put this on over the top of the Paula's Choice. I'll put it in my lashes. <laughs> the next step is SPF. Like I said before, this is extremely important. Please wear this every day, even if you're inside, you're outside. If it's a cold, rainy day, you still need to use this. So this is the La Roche-Posay one and it has Factor 50 in it. Give it a quick shake because it's very runny. <laughs> okay, and just put a few drops there and rub it in. So I suggest a primer that goes really, really tacky after waiting like 30 seconds or something when you put it on. This one is so, so good. This is the Nimue Where It All Starts Cream by Nikki Tutorials. When she came out with this, I feel like we all knew it was going to be good. I knew before even trying this, this was going to be amazing. It literally has the most gorgeous glow to it, but then it just leaves the skin so, so tacky. So when you put foundation on, it just sticks to it and it'll just stick to it all day pretty much because it's like glue. So I'm just going to apply some to the face and it just has this mo the most amazing glow to it. As you can see, it just makes your skin look so pretty. I like to wait around a minute or so for that to go tacky and I'm going to show you like how tacky it goes with my hands in a sec. Like you can really hear it. The Numi cream has like set on my face now and I'm going to come like close. To I've got a little um, microphone so you can probably hear like it just makes your face go so tacky which is like I said amazing for when you put your foundation on it will literally stick to your face. Really like this collection lasting for Perfection Glow Foundation. This is a drugstore one. It's not expensive whatsoever. I think it's about six pounds, but this is so, so good. Also really like this Technique Luminous Glow Foundation. This is a demi matte, but leaves a gorgeous glow on the skin. So it's like a satin finish, I guess, which is really, really nice. But I also really want to try this Lancome Ultra Wear. I think it's a 24 hour foundation which is insane like I'm not sure who's wearing their makeup for 24 hours but if you need to it's that I guess so I'm kind of like sat here not knowing which foundation to choose I kind of really want to try this one but that's a bit risky because I've never tried it before but I've heard really good things about it so I think I might give it a go so this is in the shade 032 I don't think there's a shade name on it actually but I really like the bottle it feels very expensive and bougie the next thing I'm gonna do is take my beauty blender and spray it with my setting spray this is the Nimia set it and forget it setting spray this is so so good I literally love 
all of the Numi products, they are amazing. Another really good setting spray is the Urban Decay All Night Setting Spray. I love that as well, but today I'm gonna use this one. So I'm just literally going to spray my Beauty Blender all over with the setting spray. Apply the foundation to the skin and I'm gonna start by blending this out with my Beauty Blender. Okay, it is a little bit dark for me, so I'm gonna blend it down my neck as well, don't worry. As we have sprayed our sponge with the setting spray, it just means that you're really locking in that foundation as you're pressing it into the skin. So this is my skin after two layers of the foundation. I do really, really like it. I feel like it's one of those foundations that you can build up and build up and it will it just won't go cakey. Like, it just sits really, really well on the skin and it does look like skin. Like, it doesn't look like you've got too much foundation on whatsoever. Next up is concealer and obviously I'm just gonna go underneath my eyes and up here like so as this just gives you a really nice little lifted look. The other side. I also like to put some on my chin and a little bit on my forehead and I'm gonna go ahead and blend this in with my beauty blender again. I can't even remember if I said what concealer I was using. So this is the Beauty Crop Vitamin Babe Concealer. I absolutely love it. I feel like it's one of the best full coverage, cheaper, affordable options of concealers that you can get. We sprayed our sponge with setting spray. I feel like this actually helps stop your under eyes from creasing as much as well. It kind of just locks that concealer in there. Let's take my chin concealer back towards my ear just to get a little bit of definition because the concealer is a little bit lighter than my foundation. So now it's cream bronzer time. I absolutely love this Doll Beauty Give Me Some Cream bronzer. It is amazing. I absolutely love it. I think it's about £15 for one of these. I just apply it to a fluffy brush and just lightly tap it on my cheekbones. And this literally has so much pigment as well, but it's just the colour and everything is just so, so pretty. You're gonna think I'm really, really weird, but I actually love this Genie lipstick from Barry M as blush. Yes, it is green, but when you put it onto your skin, it kind of like reacts with the pH or something. I don't really know what the scientific things are or why it comes out pink when you put it on the skin. I am not sure, but it literally has the most gorgeous colour to it. Apply it to my cheekbones and you get this really gorgeous pink, which I absolutely love. I actually like to start blending this out with my finger, just using those tapping motions again. As this just like, I think the warmth from your finger just like helps it melt into the skin. Now I have blended in my blush, we are now gonna go on to the magic part, which is powder. If you do not have a powder puff, you need one. This is the Trigwell's Cosmetic Powder Puff. It's massive, as you can see, which is amazing for doing your full face. I love setting my full base makeup with a powder puff just because I don't know what it is. I think it's because you're actually pressing the powder into the skin. It just gives that flawless base instead of using a, a brush. And I did used to use a beauty blender to press it into the skin, but there's just something about this. I don't know if it's because it's a fabric material and it really just gets into the pores and makes it look flawless, but yeah, you need one of these and I'm gonna show you right now. I'm gonna use the Beauty Crop Vitamin Babe powder. This is also amazing. So I picked up some powder onto my powder puff and I'm gonna tap off the excess of the powder onto my wrist. I'm going to look up and press that powder into my under eyes and it'll literally leave you with the most flawless under eye. I don't know if you can see this on camera, but I can see it very clearly in the mirror. Just look how smooth that under eye is compared to this one. Now, this is different for everyone depending on your skin type. So if you've got dry skin, I wouldn't recommend this, but I am gonna mattify my full face with powder just because my skin is so oily, but don't worry, we are gonna bring the dewiness back and I'm gonna show you a really good hack for this in a sec. So I'm just getting the powder puff and literally tapping it all over my face. If you've got dry or combination skin, I just recommend putting the powder in the places where you get 
a little bit oily or a lot of crease in here just tap a little bit of powder in these areas and underneath the eyes which is most likely to crease now as you can see my face is fully matte what I do like to do is just take a little bit of contour or bronzer and just go underneath my cheekbones and on my forehead just to bring a little bit of color back into the skin this is the Charlotte Tilbury one and this is in the shade medium I just like to go underneath my cheekbones and also put a little bit of this onto my forehead next is the exciting bit to bring this dewiness back you're gonna need one of these made by Mitchell blush lights they are absolutely insane I have actually never seen anything like them before um, they work so well on top of powder and they really do bring the gorgeous dewiness back into the skin so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this one this is in the shade pink Lynx. it is so so pretty it is a really nice blush pink shade but they also do come in so many different shades that like you can get like a champagne -y one a bronzy one I think there's even a silver one like there's so many shades that you can get I just really like this one because I love a blushy look all I'm going to do is I'm going to apply some to the back of my hand I'm going to get this fluffy brush and just literally swirl the bristles around into the product just pat the brush onto my cheekbones and it'll just give the most insane glow look at that glow it's honestly insane I literally put this like all over my face I know it's pink but I literally put blusher all over my face anyway you can see I'm applying this on top of powder and it's it's not disturbing my base whatsoever last thing I'm gonna do is spritz my face with this Nimia what's it called set it up set it and forget it setting spray So guys, this is the finished look. I really do hope some of these tips help you guys because I know how hard it can be to keep your makeup on the face all day and like keeping it looking fresh all day is just so hard, especially if you've got oily skin and it just slips and slides everywhere. I'm sure I'll be back very soon with another makeup video for you all. Thank you for watching.